Behind the disappearance of the hashtag outsourcing must fall activist Busi Mahlangu is far from over. Mahlangu appeared before the Mtata Magistrates Court in the Eastern Cape for a bail application. The proceedings were postponed to give the state more time to verify his ID numbers as well as his physical address. Mahlang was surprised a packed court gallery when he entered the courtroom. His dreadlocks, which many used to identify him, have been shaved. Cleaners and security guards supporting the outsourcing mass fault campaign were in attendance. The NPA says it's not sure whether Mahlangu has an ID book or not, as he has used three different dates of birth in previous cases he has been charged with. It also says he is not cooperative, as he has failed to hand over to police cell phones he used to report his alleged kidnapping. His supporters say his arrest will not make them lose focus from forcing the institutions of higher learning to employ them on permanent basis. Outsourcing must fall. We want to be insourced just because we are suffering. We are working for the whites. We work hard. We didn't get anything to give our, our children. We are still believe force was, was kidnapped. We are still believe that. It is still a mystery why Mahlangu allegedly lied and said he was kidnapped. He is expected back in court on the 15th of April for formal bail application. Sinkita Manunana, SABC News, Tata.